I was blessed last week to lead a retreat for the Cistercian Sisters in Prairie du Sac. Our Lady of the Valley Monastery has been here established in our diocese since the mid-1950s when a group of cloistered Cistercian nuns arrived here from Switzerland to found an American house. In those ensuing decades, it has profoundly flourished and has been a rich source of spiritual blessing for our diocese. Every diocese should have a monastery of cloistered religious because the contemplative cloistered life lives at the very heart of the church. And in their life of solitude and prayer, of silence and sacrifice, uh, they, they pump out this, this life blood to the rest of the mystical body. So to be with the sisters for um, almost seven days was a great blessing. I was able to celebrate mass, give a conference, um, also celebrate confession, and then have an individual meeting with almost each one of the sisters. There's about 25 of them, two novices, one postulant, and the community is young, which is a great consolation that God still calls young hearts to the contemplative life. And we see in that life then, what I would call an eschatological sign. You know, so the eschaton is the end of the world, the end of human history, the final judgment, the full flowering of the kingdom of God. So these sisters cloistered, giving their whole life to prayer, point us to the ultimate good, which is God himself and our life of union with him. So they point in this world already to the next world that they do in this world what we all aspire to do in the next. And that is to simply worship, praise, adore, and glorify God. So these uh, sisters are a great gift to us. And remind us that each in our own way, we're called to build a monastery in the heart, to find that secret place of solitude, both within and without, where we can go to God in the silence of prayer and speak our hearts to him, but even more profoundly listen to his heart and allow him to speak to us in the silence. Just as in last Sunday's God, first reading, Elijah hears God's voice, not in the earthquake, not in the fire, not in tumultuous events, but in this tiny whispering sound. The contemplative life then reminds us that God is so great that he is beyond us and yet so close to us that we can never avoid him. And when we give ourselves to that mystery, we have discovered uh, the joy of Christ.